everything that you know this area i mean as far as your eyes can see all this is pajarito mesa 90 percent of the residents over here that we're from uh, immigrants from mexico It's a hard place to live because right now we don't have basic services. Here I have to go further to get food. Services are farther away. There's no police, there's no water, there's no light. We have to go meet the school bus too. We have to adjust to come up with new ideas, new ways of, uh, for us to survive up here. Is this wire? That's how, that's how I get light, and everybody gets light. Electricity, we, uh, we have generator, but it's broke now, so we're running off the battery off the car. I mean, it's, it's hard living up here off the grid, you know what I mean? It's, but I'm a country boy, and I, I can adapt, you know what I mean? The name is Sandra Montes, and I'm from, um, originally from Mexico, but now I'm here in Albuquerque in Pajarito Mesa. Well, at the beginning, you know, we were very excited because we were moving into something that, you know, was going to be ours some t someday. But then, you know, as the days went on, you know, the happiness kind of like turned into lots of work, lots of frustration. Uh, I had come from Mexico, you know, when I was 12. So, I mean, it was like I never experience how the living over there in, you know in Mexico was really my parents had always worked I had all the the things that you you know that any people normal people you know have in their their house or the utilities everything some people they call me the mayor of the pajarito the, they they have all kinds of names of all those names, it just comes down to where they're counting on me to um, uh, bring, you know, the basics or solve some of the, the problems. Every time we go out, we don't go empty-handed. We either take, you know, a couple of uh, five to seven gallon containers. We have learned to be very careful how we use it. When I rinse the dishes, we don't just throw the water away. We can use it for, reuse it for the bathroom, the toilet. When it does rain, I run out in the rain and, and catch all the water I can, you know. I don't know if it's acid rain or what, but we use it, you know. Water is a pre precious thing and people don't realize that, don't they? They take it for granted. We still have to go out and haul our water, but it's closer, it, well, it's gonna be safer, you know, the water is gonna be cleaner, and then also it's a, a dependable source of uh, water, water for us too. To me, this is just one, you know, big step that we made. Although there's still, you know, a few more to, to reach. For energy, we do have solar panels. I can use the blender, the can opener, no microwave, um, no iron. It's not an easy life up here, but it's, we all feel, and you can ask anybody up here, that it's all worth it. Here it's a lot of work to get light to get food, to get water, to come up here. But if you like it and you're content, it's your house, right? It's a place you can call home. And here, maybe it's not worth anything, but it's mine. I don't know, it just feels so good to be out here. Even just looking out at the, you know, the view outside, you know, from your window. You feel so at peace and, you know, just relax. I don't have any um, plans of ever, you know, going back to the city. This is it. 
this is where you know I'm planning and you know uh, live here until it's time for me to go. <laughs>